In this video, I'm going to try a few real-world benchmarks. When I say real-world, I mean not synthetic benchmarks, something that you would actually be using out in the real world. In this, I'll be using a version 1 and a version 2 Turbo Chameleon and the infamous Wood Super CPU. There should be negligible to no difference between the version 1 and version 2, but we're going to use it anyhow just to see. In this video, anything that has disk access is going to be with an SD to IEC device. Any point you see an SD card in a Turbo Chameleon, it is only to load the Jiffy DOS kernel. Let's move on to the first benchmark, which will be using an unzip program to unzip a zip file full of single file games. Let's make a zip file for testing. See some single file games here. Let's add to archive. Let's make it a zip. Let's rename it something simple and short. And there we have our archive. Now check out the size, 182 kilobytes. Keep in mind, this is a 64 kilobyte machine in total. The unzip program has some overhead also. Let's head back over to the 64. Any part we're using a completely stock system, it really means a completely stock system. The only thing newer is obviously the SD to IEC. All right, there's nothing in this folder except the games.zip, which we're going to unpack, and the unzip program. So let's load the unzip program. This is a completely stock baseline, so this is going to be pretty slow. Games.zip. And let's unzip. And on all... We'll start. There's your baseline for stock. In case you're curious, here's your results. And let's move on to Turbo Chameleon. Okay, Turbo Chameleon version 1. And start with all. Yeah, about two seconds off. And one, two. Two minutes, three seconds. I suspect it's going to be about exactly the same on version two, but let's try it out. All right, version two. And with all. Alright, 205. Considering the imperfection on timing version 1, you can say that's identical. Let's see about the Super CPU. Let's see how the Super CPU fares. And on all.
All right, that's a real clear winner there. About 30 seconds faster than Turbo Chameleon. Wow. Let's run a Mandelbrot generator. Alrighty, who needs sleeping pills when you have this? Wow. Alright, I'm going to go play with the dog. Maybe do my taxes and take a short nap. I'll be back in a bit. Sorry guys, I literally did doze off a little bit. Okay, Turbo Chameleon version 1. Start calculations. a second late to start so about a minute and 50 seconds big big change over stock let's see if there's any change at all from a version 2 all right version 2 same thing just turbo and the jiffy dos kernel let's start All right, about exactly the same. And now the Super CPU with Turbo on. Jiffy DOS 2, of course. And let's go. Man, it's 34, man, it's 35. We see who the clear winner is there. And finally, we're going to run Boulder Mark on the version 1 and version 2 Turbo Chameleon and the Super CPU. We're going to bypass stock baseline on this one. No, no need. Turbo Chameleon version 1. Alright, 13,629. Alright, Turbo Chameleon version 2. All 
right, 13,628. I should mention on this benchmark, the higher number is the better one. So by ever so fractionally faster is the version one, and that's probably margin of error, so they are exactly the same. Let's move on to the super CPU and keep in mind the higher number is the better number. All right, now, super CPU. Okay, 13,343. So that is lower than the Turbo Chameleon version 1 and 2. That's a bit of small sample size. This is just three benchmarks. If you have any other good programs for organic benchmarks, let me know down in the comment section. The biggest takeaway from here, stock is slow. It's slow, so slow that during Magnalbrot calculations, I literally fell asleep. For Magnalbrot, the Super CPU is a little bit faster, a good bit faster than the Turbo Chameleon. It was significantly faster during the unzip. And the Turbo Chameleon 1 and 2 actually edged out the Super CPU and the Boulder Mark. I'm sure you can see the difference between either the Super CPU or the Turbo Chameleons is just night and day with stock. It's not even close. There's absolutely no difference between the version 1 and version 2 Turbo Chameleon when it comes to speed. That's what individual computers has always said and this flushes it out. But I really want to know what is another good benchmark to use. There's not a lot because there's not a lot out there that will support Turbo. And of those that support turbo, it might be just super CPU or it might be won't run on super CPU but will run on turbo. So what else will run on both and it's a real life benchmark because I'll make another video. If this is popular and people enjoy it, let me know and I'll make another video. But I just need to know what the benchmark was. Anyhow, thank you. Like, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.